to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Chiquita, Chiquita. Oh. Chiquita, Chiquita. Killed it. Killed it. Killed, Killed it. it. Those I, old gals really did it. I like how you waited till the show started to put on your, your lipstick. People like it. Yeah, they do. Gets the people going. Gets the people going. They like it. I don't understand anyone who's bitching about the Super Bowl halftime show today. Are I, they? They are, yeah. Some people are like, it was too pornographic. It was too, it's a family show. Um, I don't know. I Look, I think it was a very small percentage of people saying that. Mm. And that the media is completely blown and out of proportion, obviously. But uh, sure. look, last year, I was there. Adam Levine was goddamn near naked on the sh- on the stage as the a whole dude. Time. Yeah. I, I don't think he wore a shirt the entire... Mm-mm. Or he like took it off in like a sexy way. Something like this. Either way, right? Uh, he's shirtless. Yeah, the girls had their asses out. But that's what fucking Latinos do. It's the best part of that culture, you know? Yeah, I think there was just a lot of like crotch up shots. Yeah. And kind of like grabbing the... Sure. Crotch and... Well, I, I'm, I'll, I'll take it back to Springsteen when he was uh, on sure. stage... Slid across the stage and then jammed his dick into the camera. So, yeah, we're good on that. Let's not discriminate. Now, the stripper pole was different, but now look, it's also what Jennifer Lopez does best. I like how both of them stuck to what they did best in this world. Sure. Right. Limited singing abilities. Yeah. Shakira opted to not sing at all. At all. Not Which, one hey, note. Good for you. Surprisingly, J-Lo did. I know. But very little. She kept it to heavy, dancing. Heavy, heavy backing track and just sort of. Kept it to dancing. Mm-hmm. Which was nice. And uh, the whole thing felt like the opening ceremonies of the Olympics, to be honest with you. And I thought it was great. It was one of the best halftime it shows. It was very Miami. I've seen a long time. Yeah. Which is That's an easy thing to do, right? That's what Miami it be. Is, is very specific. And yeah. it should be. Absolutely, it should be. Yeah. Um, I like that Pitbull didn't come out. Yeah. One, because I hate Pitbull. Too, because they didn't need it. They didn't right. need Pitbull on stage. Like they, they were, really didn't even need that old little uh, David Cross. Who was? <laughs> it looks like David Cross. I don't know. It was. <laughs> who's the informer? I don't know. Snow. Snow. Yeah, I don't know who it was. Some kind of snow dude, white rapper but he was guy. Old and he had glasses and uh, it's very strange. I'm sure he's somebody that we should know, uh, no, but we don't. I don't. I don't listen to. Um, but to it was them. sort of like he was the one guy on the stage, and you were kind of like. We're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we got this. You can get the fuck out of here. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Which I liked. But uh, surprisingly, because look, I was not looking forward to that at all. Surprisingly, they they killed it. And again, it reminded me of the opening ceremonies of the Olympics where you're like, man, this is a big production. There is a million people in this. And you got the whole, you know, city and or country involved. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought it was great. So anybody who's Spanish usually bothers you, but you were loving it. Uh, un poquito, you know? Oh, so, sorry about that. That was off the cuff. Um, means a little bit for those of you listening uh, just on the audio show, you know? Mm-hmm. You're welcome for my lesson I gave you. Right. Um, right. But yeah, it, it, it was great across the board. And I, I don't know what the, the bitching is about today, but uh, I, I, don't know I actually what you can really, bitch about, really but, yeah. enjoyed the halftime yeah. show. And I thought it was great. Last year's was awful. Um, I didn't dig the year before either. I would the, say, I would say the last one I dug was Lady Gaga. What was before Adam? I can't remember. Timberlake. Yes, yes, it was. You're right. Did it go Gaga Timberlake? Yeah, and then Levine. Uh, Levine. I, yeah, I thought, I thought I didn't like Timberlake. I thought it was I thought it was boring. Well, yeah, he was boring, and then um, yeah, yeah. So good on him. Good on the ladies. Kind a lot of, shows, of ass. Like, girls should be, you know, the halftime show is for the ladies, anyways, right? It is. Can we can we sort of admit that? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. it should be Gaga. It should be like like that. Yeah. And fun. Levine, although 
there are some ladies out there that find him attractive. Mm-hmm. For the most part, we don't. It's it's weird to hear you say that. Mm. For the most part, and most of the people that I talk to and that I know, um, we don't really find him that attractive. And also, if you know, I watched him crush pussy in little, LA though. Oh yeah, my friend was sleeping with him for yeah. sure. Yeah, but she was always like, he's so fucking stupid. But she's like, obviously, I'm still gonna do it. But she was like, he's such a fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> I think I've told the story before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have. Uh, and we have a similar the finger yeah, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A similar one too. Mm-hmm. Um, it's great, his whole fucking shit. But I'm surprised to hear on a global scale, because I only know it from an LA scale. Like he's a crush pussy. I'm surprised here on a global scale, ladies don't really like him. I don't know. I'm only speaking for myself and people oh, that okay. I people that I talk to in my inner circle. I wouldn't call that global, right? But thank you, right. <laughs> Thank you. I'll let the other moms in the neighborhood know that they're global. (laughs) That they're a global opinion. But no, I mean, he's kind of a dick. We hate his music. Yeah. And he's 4'9". Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the um, Super Bowl commercial where uh, Momoa takes off the... It's great. That was my favorite commercial last night. That's what he looks like. Yeah. The after. So the after was Levine. Yes. Do you know what I mean? And so if you're into that, you're into that. Uh, that J- Jason Momoa commercial was my fave. So hilarious. My fave. A um, few things that stood out last night. Uh, we did a bunch of prop bets on Drinking Bros Sports. Now, the prop bets involved a lot of celebrities, um, surprisingly. And I was just like, oh, shit. One of them was, would they show Jay-Z and Beyonce? Would they be there? I said no because they produced the halftime show and the whole thing and blah 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 if jay-z and beyonce are somewhere yeah they're gonna fucking show them which they did once doesn't matter and and you know what it was for hmm. they were sitting through the national anthem ah uh. so uh jay-z beyonce and uh and blue ivy and everybody's talking about that today which is you know the, the daughter obviously we're sitting through the national anthem of demi lovato who Why? absolutely destroyed it last night. She was great. Great. The women across the board killed it last night. Um, there was a lot of anti-Kaepernick shit thrown Jay-Z's way that, that him signing this huge deal with the NFL mm-hmm. was um, you know, going against everything Kaepernick did. Mm-hmm. And he supported Kaepernick you know, for those okay. two years. Okay. And, uh, and they, they sat through the national anthem, which... Hey, man. Okay. If you wanted to really support Kaepernick, you shouldn't have signed the mega deal. So you sitting it for the national anthem at the fucking Super Bowl. It like, does really nothing, but okay. So I don't know if that was to try to save face or try to get something back, but it uh, didn't work, man. I mean, people were pissed today. So it's like, hey, man, you just took a gajillion dollars from the NFL to do this deal. Mm-hmm. Now you're going to sit like... Now that you've been paid. Right. Because the bolder move would have been not to take the money. Bruh. Mm-hmm. Could have just sat that deal out altogether. And then, fuck, you wouldn't even had to go into the game. Right. To sit for the national anthem. But it sounded like in the meeting that they had that was televised, because everything is televised. Yes. With them. Um, is that he was like, we could just move on from this. I think we can all work together. Right? Like... You know, as far as the kneeling thing, like sure. we kind of sounded like he was like, we got our message out. We can move. We can make more change yep. together. Da, da, da. So I don't know what he's doing behind the scenes to make that true. But I don't think sitting for the national anthem helps your cause at all. Somebody on Twitter last night had we'll the best. See. I mean, had I the best comment about it because it, it was obviously trending. Uh, but they said. Jay Z worth one billion dollars. Beyonce worth four hundred million dollars. Are you that oppressed in America? One point four billion dollars. Well, they're not saying they're oppressed. But who who is? And if again, if that's your stance, right? Mm-hmm. And you're trying to support Kaepernick and take up the whole cause mm-hmm. and all that shit. Why sign the deal? Right. Why sign the deal with the NFL? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. And then you show up after taking all their money and that, that meeting like you were talking about. And then you're yeah. like, eh, 
we're gonna we're sit good let's like really work together yeah. let's um i'm not gonna focus too much on that because I, their whole fucking deal to me is shitty now like I, i'm i'm over the the jay-z and beyonce like i'm i'm past that in my life welcome at this point yeah yeah welcome look if you put out bangers of albums that that'll solve everything but they haven't done that they haven't done that in years so i'm out i'm out on them like good luck yeah. and godspeed on mm-hmm. all of that shit and i'm done with the queen bay and the, the whole thing no they're all about themselves and that's it and that's fine the beehive yeah and it's one thing if you're all about yourself like, like me and you come out and say it like, hey, brother, I'll take that money. Right. But they didn't. Mm. So let's not pretend that you're doing fucking God's work out there uh, sitting down there in the national anthem. Um, speaking of the national anthem, <clears throat> Demi Lovato mm-hmm. um, nailed it. Crushed it. She's Voice great. Voice of a generation. Wow. She's top five. I said she was top five and some people were like, eh. Voice wise, yeah, yeah. Song wise, you're right. Again, like I said, "Sorry Not Sorry" is probably one of the worst songs ever written and performed. So, you, if you have that in your mind, you go, "No, she's awful." Tell, tell me you love me, but though, you is... have to you have to look at the body of work and you have to hear her lot like <clears throat> things like this, where she goes out and just crushes the Grammys. This the last time she sung the national anthem at I think it was McGregor. Who was it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Go through I mean, her catalog. Insane. Go through her catalog, though. Because then it's like J-Lo and Shakira. They yeah. can't hold a note. You right, know what right. I mean? But they're dancing all over. So you get confused, I think, of like what yeah. is really a voice, like a good voice. Well, You can get really confused. There's singers and then there's entertainers. And I look at J-Lo and, and Shakira as entertainers. Mm-hmm. They're not singers. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I look at Demi Lovato as a singer, not singer, an entertainer. Not I don't right. want to see her try to pull off those fucking moves at the halftime show. I don't want to see that. Right. She doesn't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like, eh. Sure. But you could. You know, anybody could hire a choreographer and try to do that mm-hmm. shit. But uh, she was great. Um, and I thought it was awesome. The, the under is what happened. The, the watch parties for the over under of the national anthem mm-hmm. betting wise have become fucking hysterical. There was fraternity houses. There was bar stool. Yeah. There was all these guys that filmed it and that were just recording the over under. Um, she went under, which I was surprised. They never go under. No, she. Look, that moment is so big that she is a fantastic singer. But she seemed like let's get through this without a problem, and because okay. uh, she was way under, like it wasn't really close. Wow. It was like 16 seconds under. So, yeah. I okay. mean, it came in at about, at about a minute 50. And I think our over under on mybookie.com was uh, 206, two minutes and six seconds. So, I mean, it wasn't even close. Yeah. Uh, but she, she crushed it. Um, the pantsuit was a thing. You know, what color would she wear? Would she wear a dress? Well, I knew the color stuff. she was going to wear. You, for some reason, didn't. But I thought, pantsuit, well, I did not. Think. My reasoning, I did. Before. Yeah, my reasoning was Kobe. I thought for sure, uh, and people bitched about that last night. There, there wasn't a proper like Kobe tribute during the thing last night, but there was pregame, right? Um, which is fine. At, at this point, like it's also the NFL, not the NBA. So, you know, it's and their I own league, and I do, didn't have an issue with that. You know, it's unpopular opinion coming up here so be careful but i think we need to move on like the wife needs like she needs to be able to move on like everyone needs to be able to move on a little bit with their lives like again i've said it to you a million times i had never seen anything like that in my lifetime you said michael jackson i didn't pay attention because i never liked him right but i had never seen anything like that where i mean every single person was talking about it for a week, breaking into every, whether it was cooking channel, whether it was, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Sports Center, Today Show, I mean, every single person and just for a very long time. Yeah. And I'm not going to say that I was like tired of it, but I was like, you know what? I feel, I don't know. It was hard all week. And every time I watched it, I was like, oh my gosh. But at a certain point, then I start thinking about his wife. Like she needs to start planning like funeral and we need to start having like a closure. Sure. Right. And never forgetting it and all of this. But it's a lot. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a lot. Who can yeah. take that? So, yeah, and and having her have to like see this over. I mean, I don't know if she's watching, but it's like it's so constant. It just feels like it's opening back up. Yeah, and I'm just, look. I'm sure her and the kids are watching it. I mean, everybody's watching the Super Bowl, right? And there was Maybe. a tribute. I mean, I don't know. There was a tribute before the game, doing. and it was fine. Yeah. Um, to me, uh, like I got the final closure Friday night when the Lakers played their first home game. Yes. Went back to work. It felt like that was yes. It. And I'm I'm okay moving on. I look. I love Kobe. Um, obviously, but uh, absolutely. It's time to move on. You're right. Um, and and, and they played the, the games. Everyone. So when it, when people were bitching about that, like eh, it's like man, it's it's a different sport, man. And they did something before the game. Sorry, you didn't see it. I, what do you want the NFL to say about that? I know. Do you want his face like on plaster? Uh, yeah. Um, and now here's a really interesting one that popped up that I want to talk talk to you about was on my bookie. One of the the prop bets was, will they show OJ Simpson? I said no, and I thought that was fucking ridiculous. Wait, why would they show him? Right. That's what I. That's what I said. I was like, he- so on Drinking Bros Sports, I said. There's no way he'd go to the game. There's no way, like, I think you'd have to get permission from the judge in Nevada to travel. Is what, it's my understanding. I think it's like eight years, and you, he can travel, but he's got to give permission of where he's going, you know, mm-hmm. or got to get permission. And I was like, eh, that would seem a little risky. Um, but then the pregame started, and they did the top 100 players of all time, mm-hmm. and they were at the game, and it was like, dude, like it or not, OJ is one of the best players of all time. And they showed a cutaway of, you know, he wasn't there. Mm. But they showed a shot of, of OJ Simpson and they included him in the top 100. And, like, everybody else was there except for him. But they did show a, a cutaway of him. And I was like, oh, fuck. Um, and people were pissed about that. But it's separating the player from the person. Player-wise, he's top 100. There's nothing you can do about that. Right. Human-wise, Oh, he's a piece of shit, but sure. Uh, I was that one threw me. I was like, oh, fuck, man. All right. I thought for sure they would have cut it, to be honest with you. No pun intended. Mm. Nailed it. Boom. Yeah. Um, forward slash backslash backslash backslash. Um, OJ did mm-hmm. it. Dot forward slash backslash. No, I'm kidding. Um, but uh, they did. And I was I lost that one. I was surprised about that one. But then I won when I picked the Chiefs to win it all. Uh Picked them before the season started at eight to one. Everybody got rich off of that. We put a lot of money on it, and uh, that was fun. However, the other Super Bowl that went on uh, was lost last night, mm. and uh, I'll let you talk about that. You finished second in the I chili second. cookoff. So, me and our friend Nick yes, yes. last year got second and third. We like to think of ourselves as. Cooks in the neighborhood, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, chefs. We got second and third. Chefs, if you will. Yeah. Well, cooks. We don't work anywhere. Like, you know, eh. nobody's calling us chef. I do. Yes, chef? Yeah, at our house. I make you do that. I don't think he does that to okay. his wife. But okay. anyway. Um, so we were like, we can definitely move up at least. We're like, he was going for first and I was going to, you know, yeah. one of us was going to get the same thing, right? Yeah. And in comes Colorado green chili. Yeah. At spot number one. Yeah. And did did they have a Chuck Norris sign? Is Chuck Norris chili is what they Chuck called Norris it. Chuck Norris chili. Yeah. So branded. Somebody listened to something because they were branding. It was great. Everyone it's great branded. Branding. Yeah. So Chuck Everyone Norris last night did. Colorado yeah, you're right, you're right. chili. Yeah. Everyone did. Yeah. I say they don't listen, but maybe they listened. Yeah. Um. Love the love the gal that won. So this is nothing against her, sure. but sorry. Spot number one, Chuck Norris chili. So alliteration. Spot number one. Yeah. And um, maybe some campaigning. And, and to, I saw her sort of campaigning, to sort clar- of telling people. To clarify people. for the audience, by the way, when she I got spot, second. When she says spot number one, she means the order of which the chilies were lined up on the table. Yeah, so the number that you through, get. Yeah, it was one through fourteen. If, if you've ever been to a chili cook-off, we enjoy them. I love chili cook-offs, right? Yes. If you've ever been to one, you start to peter out around seven or eight, right? Because you're having all these chilies and you're like, oh, man, I'm getting yeah. full. And then I still got to go down the line. You were at slot number 11 out of 14. 
And uh, that's it's pretty impressive that you got number two considering your slot. It's a lot like the Kentucky Derby. It's all based on that slot, whatever you get there. Right. Because um, if you're too far on the outside, it's it could get rough. Um, and, uh, you know, slot number 11 is tough, man, at that point. Mm-hmm. But you got second. Yeah. Um, what I like is that golden elephant still stays with. That's what you like, yeah. Nick and Ashley, but... Uh, so then, you know I love to turn everything into a food competition. Mm-hmm. So we got ribs into the nabs, yeah. into the neighborhood. So obviously, rib off Saturday. Next Saturday. Mm. And is the golden elephant on the line? I think it is, They right? want the golden elephant to be back in the... <laughs> um, I think they want to keep trying to get rid of it, essentially. Which, again, I don't mind. I'll display it. You've seen my decor. Sure. It's eclectic yeah, at best. Yeah, it is. So I don't mind. Yeah. Her decor is very specific. She's an interior designer. Like everything's very, everything that's in her house goes yeah, together. Yep. And so for her, it's a nightmare. Yeah. And what we're talking about, if you are just tuning into the show for the first time, is there is a ceramic spray painted gold elephant. Gold elephant. Probably. I would say a foot and a half by by a foot tall, you know? It's like the size of this. Yeah. Two it's like two champagne bottles essentially. Two champagne bottles. Yeah. <laughs> the trunk up. Bright gold. Trunk, Bright gold. Trunk way up. Shiny. Yeah. Way up. Shiny gold. Way up on that. When trunk. you hold it, it's like the size of the pygmy elephant that I want. Yes. And um, uh that has been at their house now for because they lost, what did they lose? Uh, Ohio North Carolina State played North Ohio Carolina, State yeah. in basketball, and uh, Ohio State smashed We're them We're going to have to conclude the sports um, portion of the show in a little bit. We will, but every, um, this is look, the Super Bowl is something that everybody watches, everybody sure. talks about. Sure. So, so but I, just, I think I just don't want to talk about me getting second. Oh, uh, is that what it is? It was second. weird. It was a big letdown last night. You let down the family. Yeah. I let down the family. I had to sleep outside. In the garage on the floor. I moved to the shed. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was and warm last night. What? It was warm last night. Real What's goddamn that? warm. Se- yeah. But Un- it's 75 here today. Unseasonably. Yeah. Right. Well, you know why? Punxsutawney Phil, it was, yesterday was Groundhog's Day as well, um, did not see his shadow. And uh, it's going to be an early spring, kids. Mm-hmm. As you know, I live my entire life based on what uh, forecast was, what uh, Punks and Tony Phil says. Mm-hmm. So I, I just went ahead and threw out all my pants. Yeah. So I'm ready to wear some jams. That's it. Right. Ready for jams and flip flops again. You know? So, you know, that's, that's what happened. I was a loser. Yeah, you were. I got second like a loser. Yeah. Because first, second and third is. I mean, I don't even consider them on the board. Because you said last night, you were like, I don't understand. Like, you didn't give me a kiss goodnight last night before, before bed. And I was like, well, you I don't deserve I also want to say, me and Nick were like, sorry to interrupt you. No. You didn't deserve my love. Go ahead. So, um, old love, huh? Yeah. You didn't deserve my love last night. So, me and Nick were talking about talking to the lady that was. Um, that one? No, that was tallying up. The stuff. So sure. it's like one lady. And so the way that the paper works is you pick first mm-hmm. your favorite. Yes. And then the second and the third. Yeah. And we were like, so how did that work? Did you just like, did this person get picked? Like, did you just do the amount that they were written on there, whether it was second or third? Mm-hmm. And she was like, just the amount of times it was written. Yeah, yeah. So, they could have, people could have put Colorado Chili at number two. Mm-hmm. Like, that was their second favorite. Sure. But just because the name showed up. Do you know what I'm saying? No, but, uh, so what I had heard was, uh, it was the overwhelming favorite. So, she, she said it wasn't even close. Well, it was. It was two off. What do you mean? It was two, two point, or two, like... She got 18, someone got like 14, and then sure. 16. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So it was like that was how close it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, if you want to, uh, if you're calling this like the, the Bush-Gore election, where there's a hanging chad, no, we can get those ballots No, I just don't back. understand how it worked, where it's like 
that's this is why it should just be number one. So it's like just the amount of of the times you were the favorite, not the amount of times that she was like put at second and third, and they just do the amount of times that you see that name. Well, that's how they do, do the Heisman Trophy. Um, that's how they do the MVP races and all of these sports. Like that's how they do it. Um, so I really just for next year, it would be awesome just to have the favorite. Why do you have like, and then it will be the amount to be second and third. Do you know right. what I'm saying? I, I will say this. I think we should develop an app and go digital next year and then we can get a real strong. That would be great. Yeah. Real strong. That would be great. Then there was a bunch of people that didn't vote. I was like, what? Yeah. Well, that's, that's like a real election. And you know? I got in their face and I said, a non-vote is a vote for Colorado Chile. Yeah. Yeah. A non-vote is a vote for green pork chili. Yeah. 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 Let it all out. Let it all out today, James. Never in my life have I seen a fucking, a, a chicken, a green. Mm. Never in my life have I seen one of those win. There it is. There Ever. It is. So, Godspeed. I was waiting today. I was waiting today because you needed closure too. You know. And I feel like we're getting it today. It is what it is. Like, and they said last year they were going to do different categories. Mm -hmm. Do your chicken chilies. Do your white bean chilies. Yeah. But in the beef and bean chili category. Yeah. What? There it is. <laughs> I'm here for you tonight. <laughs> I'm here for you. And now we're done. <laughs> And now the sports portion of Ross Patterson Revolution is done. You won't say one more thing. It's not sports. Let's face it. it. The Super I'm Bowl, fucking done, dude. The, the, like, I am done. The We're Super done. Bowl is... Uh, Anything else you have to say, you can say on your fucking sports show. We're is, done. The Super Bowl is not about sports anymore, I feel like. The game is... The game matters to some of us. But the rest of everybody, it's, it's about what, what else is going on, right? There's a lot of cooking competitions going on. Around the nation, you with the chili cook-off. There's a bunch of them. You see it online, obviously. A um, bunch of people rallying for the halftime show. Like Super Bowl has become a party more than about the game itself. You know, mm -hmm. um, even people buying squares. They don't even know what they're buying. Like they're just doing it just to do it. And that's that's kind of what it is. The Super Bowl has now become this gigantic party, and the game is kind of secondary. I, I feel like to most people, um, to dudes, yeah. Um, but to, to, you know, women, children, cause let's face it, that, that's what we, we were at last night. We, ch we had our kids out last night, um, family over, uh, it's, it's an event now and it's a party more or less than about the game itself, unless it's your team, obviously, you know? Uh, but yes, we will stop talking about it, James, cause I, I can tell you're still very raw over this. Well, talk to your girlfriend about it. Your, Dan. your emotions are, talk uh, to your girlfriend. are very raw. Dan Holloway. It has nothing to do with sports anymore. This is about your loss. It's about your loss last night on the, on the, on the battlefield. We're done. <laughs> talking about Old Jessica Simpson. Now, I, now I, am, I will be done talking about her. I, God. What, were we going to talk about her today? No, but her book's coming out today. Yeah. The 4th. Whatever that day is. Tuesday, tomorrow. The books come out on Tuesdays. Yeah. Yeah. So it will be yesterday, right? Um, they just had, so Nick Lachey and his. Is it Lachey? I thought it was Lachey. And his, um, is it Brooke? No. Who's his gal? Who knows? So Nick Lachey and his rebound that ended up being a 14-year marriage with kids every week that they're having. He, can I say this? Looking back on it, he chose wisely. Oh, for sure. She's a fucking smoke show, that girl. Great. Yeah. Yeah. MTV yeah, chick, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. MTV chick. Huh. Um, Vanessa something, I think, is her name. Yeah. Well, Vanessa Lachey, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> Putting but two and two together. Anyways, they have this dating show called like in where basically people get in, engaged without seeing each other. Mm. Which, again, that's called m married at first sight. But anyway. Yeah. Um, but they have to, t they talk to each other. And the only way that they can see each other is if they propose. So you can talk as long as you want. Okay. Correspond. Uh -huh. Talk on the phone. Text as long as you want. Can you send pictures? No. Ah. 
But if you want to see the person, you have to propose and you have to go all the way to the altar. So that's the show that they're doing. Of course, Hoda has to ask about open book, Jessica Simpson's book that's coming out. She asked Nick Lachey about this? Mm -hmm. Ooh, how'd that go? So she's like... Hey, you know, you know, I had when I heard her opening up about all that stuff, by the way, she was high as a kite when she was talking about. Yeah. I just yeah. want to really get that out there. And at some point, someone will corroborate. I mean, n- no one is saying it. Oh, I am. Oh, I-, I said it immediately. I was like, she's no on one else drugs. is saying. Yeah, yeah. High as a kite I'll stop on the interview that she's talking about that when she's talking about being totally sober. Mm hmm. Um, and anyway, so Hoda says to Nick, yeah, she spoke very, you know, highly of the two of you and said that you sent her, um, sent her something to the house when she was, you know, had her last baby or something or second baby. And you're very happy for each other and, um, all of this. Um, did you know any of this stuff about her or did it, was it a revelation to you as well? So he goes, well, obviously, I haven't read the book. Yeah. Um, I haven't read it, so I don't know what she said. But, um, yes, we are happy for her. And Vanessa goes, oh, we didn't send her anything. We didn't send her anything. Thank you to whoever sent her something on our behalf. We never sent her anything. Really? And like, And she's looking at him, and Nick's looking at her like, did Nick send something to her and Vanessa not know about it? Did that never happen at all? Are they now going to get in a fight? It was A, the best burn slash I don't know what's going on. Like, A, I haven't read it. Right. There's burn number one. Right. I'm not going to read it. B, like, eh, I don't care. Like, you're irrelevant. And no, we never sent the thing that she said we sent. Yeah. And her book is number one on fucking Amazon. Is it really? Oh, it's a fucking well, her PR people, whoever did this like big press deal. release at this time and made it the week of Jessica Simpson, mm-hmm. um, did a really good job. I mean, I'm gonna look that up actually, because if so, that's a big deal. We were yeah, they're two pre-order all week. right now, so apparently it's number one. Hey man, pre- we were number two all week behind uh, the dog. Dogman series, which is uh-huh. a fucking so, um, huge thing for kids. So, like, dude, if she made number one, that's a fucking monster deal for yeah. real. I mean, it's Jessica Simpson. I'm like, but she I, has. I a, don't look at Jessica Simpson as famous anymore. Where I'm just. She has a plane. She has a billion dollars. She's a like, but because of the fucking clothes, right? She's good, but yeah. Um, definitely, Ooh. when this book came out, I. She was not at all before that. The only things I would see in the press were about her weight. Ever since she started gaining it, okay. she just cannot catch a break. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's at 10 right now, so. 10? Good, she didn't beat me. Um, yeah, I mean, look, it's 416 pages, this book, too. That is a lot of words for someone like that. Sure. Um, her ghostwriter is not on here either. No. That's cool. Um, no. As if she sat down and wrote a 416-page book right. on her own. That's the, that always bothers me. I'm just like, come on, man. Um, <laughs> you know, if you look back on all of it, right? I liked, I liked the show that she did with Nick Lachey on MTV. Mm-hmm. I did think she was hot at one point. Mm-hmm. Now, looking back, Nick won. Nick Lachey won. Maybe. I mean. He did. He did and he didn't. Like, maybe in the hot wife department. but as No, all of it. Would you want to deal with that fucking nightmare? But Jessica Simpson isn't the one that's dealing. So, if you're talking about the two of them winning, right? So, she has this awesome husband that puts up with her shit. She has kids. She has a plane. She has a billion dollars. Mm-hmm. Like... They're both good in different ways. Like, Nick Lachey for sure does not have a bunch of money. But they're good. Like, they're good. He does have a bunch of money, and that's from wrong. what? Um, so, dude, whether or not you, you refuse to believe that 98 Degrees was a thing, it was. From that TV show, it was a split. 
there was an even 50 50 split on that deal and mm. they both made a fuck ton of money okay um i hate going to these net worth things because they're never right but uh yeah i mean again i, I just guess think of define like, success right yeah so yeah in like the version of you have a hot wife and your kids are great and you seem happy. Yeah, he won. In the version of you never fly private, you have more money than God, you have a number one bestseller, like, um, you know what I mean? I guess it's just whatever you think success is, and I'm not going to tell you which one I think it is. Right. Well, she's not number one, um, but they got, they got Lachey at $20 million. Uh She'll be a bestseller for sure. No, she's a bestseller already. Like yeah, no, yeah, ten yeah. is it's only yeah, top yeah, fifteen. Yeah. She's a bestseller. Um, oh, and she's a nonfiction. She might be number one this week. Um, anyways, uh, Lachey's got twenty million. That really quick. Uh, and he's doing a bunch of cool shit. Mm-hmm. Like he went in with all these celebrities to uh, buy up this land in Ohio to grow marijuana and, sh- and all this stuff. So like, sure, he's fine. He's fine. Look, and I, again, I'm saying pull up he's the picture fine. of her as Willie Nelson as a man and decide if that is the life you want to live. That's um, when she was looking good, right? I, I'm just, the whole thing was really funny. Um, but it's kind of, it's very, to me, she's in the Anna Nicole Smith stage of like, there was a really hot point where everybody was attracted to her. And now mm-hmm. it's just kind of like, yeah, that's, she'll be painted like a clown and making home videos and uh, might off herself, you know, might die of an overdose some someday, but. You know. Right. Yeah. Uh, look, beauty is in the eye of the beholder on this one, Jabes. Um, but I again, like I said, outside looking in, success. I go Lachey. Lachey won this one. Okay. And for me, <laughs> outside looking in, she won. The dad who wants to fuck her, like that. We uh, we didn't even touch on that. Remember that whole shit? Oh, does your tits she, look great. Put your tits out there. Does she touch on that? I don't know. You know, that's a great question. That's the thing. Is it an open book, Jessica? We'll find out. Fine, I'm not going to read it, but we'll find out. Like I have no interest in like hearing about she, how she met Nick Lachey. Find out about the rest of it. Is what and about we the, all didn't the know dad that John Mayer is a fucking dick. Yeah, didn't, didn't the dad end up being gay I too? I think so, yeah. They found him with the uh, little, little 18-year-old singer, little male yeah. singer. And what about, she, she has that sister. Ashley, yeah, yeah, that's married to. She a... backed out of the limelight. She was just like, "Hey, we're, I'm, uh, we're all good on this. I'm gonna get, I'm uh, She's still take it on down the road. Super cute and like making really cute music with her husband and having she kids. And married Diana Ross's son. Yeah, uh, I forget his name. I met him a few times. Nice guy. Very nice guy. Seems nice. Yep. Uh, they're very cute. Um, I don't know. Yeah. You know, I the beholder. I the beholder. I got I got Lachey on this one. I got Lachey. Although we look, all know who I have. John Mayer said she was sexual napalm, and that was the best. She was the best to do it in the bedroom. Really? Yeah. Maybe when she was on all those diet pills. Yeah, but now it's probably slow going. Look, Mayer lays the wood. Um, it's probably slow going these days. Yeah, he's gonna fucking hog on him, but uh, that's going in Andy Cohen's mouth now. Mm-hmm. Um. Because they're, they're they're fucking right, or they're just he's just sucking his dick. Um, yeah, I mean, they have an arrangement, I'm sure. Yeah, like you don't get, you don't like stay in the really nice hotel room and get brunch on the balcony with Andy Cohen at 11 a.m. Without an arrangement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not getting sucked off first. Like Andy Cohen is the gay version of John Mayer. Like, I think he's a little yeah. bit of a slut. I mean, yeah. now he has his kid, and it's different. Yeah. But I think for sure he was like, love him and leave him. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and you didn't um, complain about it. Same with John Mayer, because you get to like go to concerts and be backstage and like sure. do all this stuff. And so you're not complaining. It just doesn't last for very long. Right, 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 right. And you want it to last for longer. And, you know, in John Mayer, he gets to go through that phase of like, yeah, let some dude suck my dick for a little bit, you know? Yeah. I tried he's everything. Not like looking- a real musician. He's not looking good these days, so it's kind of like, do whatever. It looks like John Mayer. Mm. You know? He's got a neck pooch. A neck pooch? Mm-hmm. What's that? I mean, I have one. 
<laughs> God. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like when you get to a certain age and like weight just starts in certain places first yeah. and then you lose it in certain places. Well, you can't first. look, you can't beat father time. So no. What, how old is well, Sean Mayer? Would you say? Um, Shakira and JLo would have a different opinion of that. God damn but it. But they're Latino. That's a different story. Very true. White people just fucking Oof. age horrifically. Yeah. Especially if you're pasty. Yeah. Which John Mayer is, dude. Mm-hmm. Um, he's got to be, what, 45, I would say? 42. 42. 42. Be 43 this year. That's when the so, neck pooch yeah, starts. Yeah, man. There's nothing you can do about that. Yeah. Nothing you can do about that. Uh, we got some sponsors who pay for this whole fucking show to be on pooch the air. Wagon. James, this pooch wagon to be on the air. <laughs> First and foremost, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Ooh, we, um, Ghostbed is... A part of the entire family. Yes, and uh, Strike Force is now uh, part of your family as well, Jabes, which we'll get to after this. Best of the best. But ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. It's got a President's Day sale. 15% off everything in the store. Sheets, pillows, mattresses, uh, adjustable bases, you name it. Look, military and first responders always get 15% off. Now everybody does. All of us regular dum-dums get it off. Uh, so you can go there, peruse their sites, get a little mattress to lay down on with your lover. Make a little baby tonight. Um, at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. As always, they have the 36 month pay as you go program, which no one else has, Jabes. No. And uh, this deal is good with that. So, yes, you can use the 15% off, and then boom, you can use the 36 month pay as you go program no interest and uh and then you're paying pennies 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 a month yeah i mean a lot of pennies but sure yeah you could be scissoring your partner man or woman in days you know yeah ghost bed takes like two or three days to get there that's it boom it's you very be scissoring quick. yeah pop it out of the box dude scissor uh next up we got strikeforceenergy.com <laughs> boom 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 shabloinkers is that gonna carry over to your show um, I think I might have to do something different and special. Okay. Um, um, your promo code is the best, though. Promo code's the best. So it's strikeforceenergy.com. Obviously, on, on Ross Patterson Revolution, you get it's Revolution for 20% off. At your show, it's Lady Boner for 20% off. Um, As you know, if you've listened to the show. It's fucking hilarious. My, I hate that word. Love it. I love it so much. Uh, it's fucking hilarious. Big fans of Strike Force. Um, obviously, everybody was drinking it last night. White Claws. Had to. Seltzers have taken over, man. They really have. Your mom was drinking it. Everybody. I was like, hello? Everybody's drinking it. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Except Post me. Malone Super Bowl ad for Seltzer last night. Oh, shit. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still on that fucking wine train, dude. Yeah, dude. Um, but everybody's putting Strike Force in the uh, Seltzer. Look, it's no carbs, no sugars. So. And it's uh, last longer five hour energy. It gives it more taste, is what it does. Yeah. Because they're still missing a little taste in those seltzers. With all this of the seltzers, because they have cut down on the sugar, and yeah. that's how they have the calories so low. You know, you're like searching for that flavor. Yeah. But then you can add Strike Force. Not going to add any more calories. Yeah. But then you can handle, and it's a uh, that's a day drinking potion. Oh yeah. Strike Force and White Claw or any kind of seltzer that you like Oof. is day drinking Boss. medicine. Does not get any better than that. Go to strikeforceenergy.com today. 10 pack, 40 pack, 750 milliliter bottle. If you're watching the show, the same boxes that are in the 7 Elevens are the, the ones you get, uh, which is great. So go to strikeforceenergy.com, promo code Revolution or Lady Boner for 20% off. Next up. We got straightrazors.com, James. Uh, Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you right? Yes, Jace. Oh, that one hurts yes. my ears, and I don't even have headphones on no, or you the don't. sound up in my car. You don't. You don't. You're just saying things out of your mouth at a loud level. Uh, <laughs> Straightrazors.com, best in the biz for dudes. You all right, Japes? Mm-hmm. Oof, where did you go mentally Nobody right there? Nobody knows. No. I was just thinking like, God. Yeah? 
Yeah. At loss? Are you still thinking about the chili loss? No. We got one more sponsor here, James. Come Dude, on. Dude, I've moved on. Okay. I'm thinking about straight razors. Gooch glue. Yeah. Your mustache. Oh, uh, yeah. So, do the mustache A lot of wax. people were asking me when that... Well, they were giving me facts about the coronavirus and just how, like, mustaches transmit... Sure. ...disease. Sure, sure, sure. And virus. Yep. And then they were asking me how I felt about the mustache. Ah. I like it. Yes, you like it. Every but other I'm woman does so not like I know, it on and husband. I'm shamed into like lying about it because they're like, "Oh, <sighs> when my husband had that, I mean, I had to tell him I'm not kissing you, I'm not doing anything until you shave it." And I'm yeah. like, "I know, me too, but I don't feel that way." No. Like I even want it to be like bigger a little bit and down. Sure, 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 sure. And everyone would be like, "Oh, you're a saint," and I'm like, "I like it." Is that yeah. weird? I don't know. I got a, weird, a lot of weird looks last night at the party. Well, yeah. there was a lot of kids around, and people don't love a mustachioed man Tough around shit. kids. Tough shit. I don't know what it is. Uh-huh. Like, even the, the lady that was telling me was like, we had uh, like some performance at the kids' school, and she was like, you cannot go with the mustache. <laughs> Crazy. But I hear that all the time. Yeah. Pussies. And they just shame them into shaving it, and again, I have to admit that I like went along with it because I just want to be liked <clears throat> by everyone yeah. always. And then that leads to some lying sometimes. A lot. A lot, a of, lot times. of times. Yeah. Um, so I was just like, yeah, ew. Ew, gross. But I like it. Yeah. And I, and I keep it taut with straightrazors.com. Again, and man. And smooth. So if you yeah. talk about like. The wax. Look, I use all of it, dude. Um, I use the mustache wax, uh, the aftershave smolder, man. Even putting that in your fucking. And you use the shampoo in broom. there, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Shampoos, so you conditioners, it clean, everything. Like, it's great, you know. dude. It's great. I use the razors. Uh, go to straightrazors.com, promo code uh, Revolution. Revolution for 20% off. Uh, Jobless. Yeah. Primaries happen. I want to talk, talk to the audience about this real quick. We're recording on a Monday. The primaries are happening in like. I don't know, two or three hours. Mm-hmm. We're not going to be able to report on that, obviously. Mm-hmm. But um, uh, I was, I was surprised at how much Homeboy spent Bloomberg mm-hmm. on fucking ads. The ads last night in the Super Bowl were five point eight million dollars. He had mm-hmm. five of them. He has so much money, though. He's got like, yeah, I guess, four or five billion dollars. But it's like, dude, you were just—I mean, it's just throwing money out the window to me. Like every time I saw it, I was just like, oh my god, you can't win. You cannot win. Right. You're nowhere, not even polling. You decided to enter like three weeks ago. Give that money to somebody else who could actually do something important with it. Just Yeah, like back somebody. I, I mean, I don't know. Not that. Just fucking go, send it to schools or something, man. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy to me. But uh, look, politics will be on full display. We'll, we'll obviously chat about it. I want to get that out of the way here before we go forward because whatever happens tonight. Obviously, we're, we're going to be talking about, but but on the next show, we just don't know now because we're recording this on Monday. Right. And the news will probably definitely get into it. Yes. Is this Kansas Kansas City thing real? What? That tweet? It is real. It is real. Can I tell you? Full but disclosure. But do you think he maybe did it? No. I, I'll, on purpose? So, I'll, so we'll, we'll talk about this. So so Trump last night after the Chiefs won said, Congratul- congratulations to the, the great people of Kansas. No, you made the great state of Kansas proud, Correct, right? Right. Um, there is a Kansas City in Kansas. Um, I sure. consider myself a smart guy. I made the same mistake when no, I went there you last didn't. year. I did. I did. So I, when I bought, because I went to the AFC Championship last year in Kansas City, I hadn't been there before. I'd, I'd never been. And everybody was like, you got to go. It's amazing. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I typed in Kansas City, and the first thing that popped up was Kansas, uh, like to buy the the plane tickets and inside of me something was just like mm, maybe Is i should look right? because yeah. i remember somebody else being in missouri and talking about it but i was like would it be that one or would it be i i had to look i did before i bought the tickets last year so i, I made the same mistake so i'm not gonna shit i can't shit on them because i did it too well last year. you can shit on them um well, just in this instance in the with, with the, the president should have someone who is Double checking these tweets. Doesn't. No. 
Never has, by the way. Part of the charm. Think what you will. No. I, look, I, I've been very vocal. The one thing I don't like about Trump, I hate the tweeting. I hate the ability to do it. I think all of it should be checked. And I don't like spelling mistakes. I don't like... There's, there's, I, I don't like Twitter in general for presidents at all. I don't like social media for presidents at all. So... Uh, if I could take one thing back, yes, that, that's it for sure. But does that help him win? I don't know. I look at these fucking numbers. Look at the retweets on this fucking thing. I mean, it's massive. Part of me was like, did he do it on purpose for that? Mm. No. I doubt it. Okay. I doubt it. Um, I just think it was a fucking mistake. I, look, full disclosure, I made the same one last year when I was buying tickets. I didn't know. Not, I'd never been in that part of the country. Not the president. And you even I'm knew at that moment when you were getting a plane ticket to be like, let me check. I had to go. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But you had the wherewithal to be like, let me check. Uh-huh. I think there's another one. Yes. And there was. And then I had to recheck which city that that might be in. <laughs> Again, you at least did that. I did. Right? Yeah. I did, and uh, whew, glad I did. Glad I did. That would have been a a painful decision for me. That is a rough one. Uh, It's Black History Month, too, Jabes. Um, Okay. just started. Okay. And uh, people are not happy at what is kicked off Black History Month. What? It was a video posted on Instagram last night of your girl, Hot Girl Summer, Megan the, the Stallion, Stallion. Uh, making out with G Easy, who you and I both hate. G Easy, good looking dude. I'll give him that. He's but, okay. He's tall. Yeah. I'll, I'll literally only give him that. So there is a thing called Black Twitter. Yes, where they're like, "Hey, man." Yes, it's where all the best memes and correct everything comes from. The basically. memes that have come out of this video today. She's been trending number one all day. So is he for, for this. Um, there was also a video clip posted of Halsey at a concert. Somebody screamed out the other night, Jeezy, Jeezy. Mm. She stopped the show, went to this fan in the front row and just said, you motherfucker. This is her exact words. You motherfucker. This is my show. If you bring up my ex-boyfriend again, I'll fucking throw you out of here. And it was mm-hmm. just like, whoa. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Gonna be realsies, dude. Halsey doesn't play. Um, she's a fucking gangster. She is. She is. <laughs> she's. She's. Yeah. That's a rapid switch. That's a. That's two different styles of women. There, Halsey to Megan the Stallion. Definitely, but uh, as far as G Easy <laughs> is concerned, I think he believes. That he is more suited for Megan the Stallion. Maybe. If that makes sense. Um, Halsey was in a little bit of, tiny bit of hot water. Uh, I think it was an inadvertent tweet. Did you hear about that? Oh, really? a site really? called Pitchfork. Do you know Pitchfork? Yeah, 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 yeah. So basically it's this music site or whatever. It is, yeah. But it's all just like shitty critics and people talking shit. It and is, like yes, yes. Slam, whatever. Um, she had tweeted something about could the basement that pitch could the basement operation uh-huh. that runs Pitchfork just collapse already? Turns out Pitchfork is on the fortieth floor or something of the Trade Center. Whatever. One okay. of the ones yeah, that yeah, 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 collapsed. Yeah. <laughs> Well, so what happened was... She didn't know where it was. She was like, I seriously had no idea. And I think when they did report on it, they were like inadvertent. They, they believe her when she said, I had no idea where Pitchfork was. None. No one does. And to be, no to, one to does. be fair... So weird. When the, when the towers fell and they replaced them with towers... You can buy, there's offices in there, there's oh, for sure. apartments, I'm just there's saying. all kinds of shit in there. Like, I didn't know where Pitchfork was either. They just really, like... Oh, they're going after everything these oh, days. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. So. Anyways. Um, yeah, man. I, uh, I, was, I was surprised by that. I was surprised by that. She's the hot shit these days, Megan. Megan the Stallion. Is she still? Oh, yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, they're uh, they're gearing up for a big run at her. I know she just signed a massive deal. I think it was with Rock Nation, I believe. Okay. Um, so she's gonna she's supposed to be the next one. Like, hey man, we're gonna fucking drop the next Fire album. So they backed up the truck for her. We'll see. I, I guess that was what was surprising about it to me was you know somebody backs up the truck for you and then you uh, decide to post this weird makeout video with GG Easy. I don't really it know how that benefits. Her, it doesn't hurt her brand at all. She's always today. Everybody's pissed at her. So yeah, they were like, dude, not during black history. Month. Yeah. So I guess if it was easy. March, it'd be different. <laughs> so eh, we'll see. Uh, I want to give a, an RIP to one of your, one of your faves. Um, sorry to uh, report this to you. So you probably don't know. Uh, the story just broke, but uh, earth fair is uh, bankrupt and they're closing all their stores. Makes sense. Does it? That's what I wanted to ask you about. Why? Because you can't have that kind of stuff at the prices that they have. It's just. What, uh, what, what is the price? I thought it was a cheaper version of Whole Foods. Is yeah, that not but true? But there's no such thing. Like, ah, that's the point. Is it. like what you have, you know, <laughs> cheap food is cheap for a reason. Yep. Expensive food is expensive for a reason. Like everyone needs to make that margin, right? Mm -hmm. The profit margin. If I've learned anything from Shark Tank, it's that they only like young people. And that you need a certain amount of profit right. to be successful. Yeah. And something well, about Q4 and customer acquisition. Well, Q4 is your biggest. Uh, but anyways, I've learned all these. I learned stuff. all these things from Shark Tank. So I'm basically a businesswoman. Yep. But um, so, yeah, you anything like this that is too good to be true is. That's just across the board, right? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. Right? Know, I, didn't I, I wanted to ask you about it because you shop there. I've never, I've never. Yeah, been there. and I shop there, and you like walk around like, how is this? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you check out, and it's twenty dollars for way more than you got at Whole Foods, yeah. and you're like, oh, wow, right? I had, and I they have it in an area where a Whole Foods would kill. It's in this rich area here. Okay. In um. Was it Mayfair? Yeah. Okay, got gotcha. you. So that's where the Whole Foods should be, right? Yeah. But the Earth Fair's there. Yeah. And Whole Foods is by us, putting us all out of house and home. Yeah. Well. Look, um. So yeah, I just don't think now. I don't think it's possible. That's the whole point of like, you know. They didn't tell anybody. They didn't tell any of their employees. They just did it, and uh, so they're just closed down. Yeah. So like, if I went to Earth Fair today, it'd be gone. I, allegedly. So. Um, they just said that they're all fired and they're shutting down their doors. Okay. Um, they, yeah, it says they've already begun closing their stores, uh, becoming at least the third U.S. grocer in re recent weeks to uh, seek a buyer or a shutdown. Um, I had this conversation last night with somebody who was talking to me about uh, food stamps, right? And how you shouldn't be able to use food stamps for cigarettes or sodas or anything with sugars and that you should be eating healthier because it's going to create, you know, blah, blah, blah. Cigarettes I'll get behind, but... Anything else, it's like, get what you can get. I, that's, that's what I said. And I, I said the same thing in this conversation last, last night. And they were like, it's not that hard to eat healthy. And I was like, it's, not, it's, not, it's hard because it's expensive. Exactly. And I go, I don't and know anyone anything. that tells you different yeah. is rich. Yeah. It's easy. Like when Gwyneth was like, let me try and. It, exactly. It, it is not easy to eat healthy. One, two, I go the time commitment. You know, if let's say you are working a job, right? Minimum wage. And then you need food stamps to, to try to survive or whatever it is, right? For your, your kids and family all that other shit. Yeah. Then you've got to come home and cook this meal with all this shit to try to do it. Like, it's fucking hard, man. Um, there is no, and according to you, this was a cheaper version of that. Mm -hmm. Now that's gone. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, nobody can afford Whole Foods and all that shit. Like, no. And then even when you go, like, they do all these things of like, let's shop for, you know, we're going to feed a family of four for $13 and yeah. the amount of time it takes them to like go around this regular store and find these things for the certain price and make this like noodle meal or whatever it may be like, again, time consuming Yep, and just unrealistic in a lot of ways. Like, yeah, if you're rich and you have the time to be like, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try and make a meal for 13. Like the people that are showing you how to make the meal. Yeah. Are rich. Rich. 
Rich. When Goop tries to live on food stamps wage or whatever it is for a day, she's rich enough to do so. Goopy She jeans. has all the time in the world Goopers. to do it. Yeah. Right? She's like, I ate an avocado with lime. Yeah, and look, and the reason I bring that up is, look, now that Earth Fair is gone, that now you're back to Whole Foods, and it's going to get even harder and more expensive to fucking eat healthier, and uh, what the fuck, man? Um, but yeah, they just pulled up stakes in the middle of the night and just said, fuck it. Wow. All the employees were like, yo, we walked into work and found out today. Interesting. Yikes. I know. Uh, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we? Um, I hate to go sports, Jabes, but uh, we got to give it to Pat Mahomes, uh, quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, some of our friends, Gat. Yeah. Um, the reason why I'm, I'm going to give this to him, they've never won the Super Bowl. Um, it's been you know 50 years since they've even been to one. And Oh, is she the revolutionary? What's that? Wait, who? No, uh, Pat Mahomes is because oh, he, okay. he won the fucking Super Just Bowl. Just a shout out to our girl. We're going to give a shout yeah. out to Gap, but, but here's why. Um, I saw grown men crying last night, and uh, look, they never won in their history. And then our good friend of ours, Gat, um, who's been on the show a few times, um, she was with her father last night, who mm-hmm. is older. And uh, y- you ever wonder if people are going to see this in their lifetime? And they did, and this happened last night, and it was a fucking awesome moment to see, and like yeah. the cutaways and all that stuff to Kansas City, and uh, to a fan base that is great. And I've been there, and the city is great. Um, when I did, was able to find it for the second time on Google. Uh, it was awesome, and uh, congrats to them. They deserve it. Um, yeah. It's a blast. Kansas City is a fun city to go to. Great stadium, great people, uh, and congrats to Gat and her father last night. So people were fucking raging. It was awesome. Uh, Jabes, sorry about getting second. I love you. There's always next year. You're going to be back. You're going to be stronger than ever. I'm done with food competitions. Ah, you're a liar. You're a liar. Just give her a day off. We'll ask her on the next show. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.